Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. indices for November 25th, 2020. If you'd like to uh, support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You'll get full access to our technical analysis and also our signal service. And the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly today. 1.56 at this current point. And we're trading above these previous highs here and at 3,633. Uh, 3, yes, at this point, a pullback is inevitable. We are overbought. Uh, we are rallying quite significantly. And we are trading as if we are going uh, technically back to normal, even though the world economy is not at normal yet. So pullbacks are expected. Uh, I don't think that we are going to rally significantly more after this. I think that we are going to fall back towards the 20 exponential. That's around 3,537 and probably towards the 50 moving average at 3,500 or there, 3,400, 3,500. Um, no interest in basically buying this at this point because um, we are overstretched. We have been overstretched for quite some time now. Overbought, um, technical indicators are still fairly bullish, but they can turn around at any point. So a pullback um, is expected, and that is also the opportunity that you can get in order to buy uh, this indice cheaper. So you look at the Dow Jones. Same thing here. We are at this current point at the all-time highs. Um, pullback is possible, is, is expected. We are at 74.5 at this point in the RSI. We are significantly overbought. And um, yes, it is expected to pull back probably down to the 20, 29,000 level or at not the 20 exponential moving average. That is at around 29,000. Um, pull back toward that area. That is a possible buy. Uh, pull back towards the. Uh, the uh, 28,000 at the 50 moving average, that is even better. But buying it at this level here is, is like playing with fire because we are significantly overbought. So expect these indicators to turn around. They are still fairly bullish, but a turnaround here would indicate that we are going to go at least to the 50, uh, 20 exponential and probably to the towards the 50 and not further than that. So if you look at the NASDAQ, We can see that we have rallied a little bit. Uh, we're up at 1.4, 1.39 at this current point. We're trading at 12,071. And uh, compared to the other indices, uh, the NASDAQ is not overbought. There's a lot of room to the upside in the, in the NASDAQ. We'll find some uh, resistance here at 12,300 or 12,250. And then we'll head towards these 12 the 12,500 12, level. Um, this is a market that will continue to grind higher. Uh, I don't expect this to, to break to the downside at this current point. Uh, a lot of focus has been on um, stocks, airline stocks, and, and other stocks that have been hammered during the coronavirus. And there's where basically the capital has gone in the previous weeks, and therefore also increasing in the Dow Jones and also increasing the S&P 500 while the Nasdaq has been left behind a little bit. But coronavirus is not over. It's still going to be with us for a very long time. And most of these stocks that are driving this are going to benefit even more in the future because this is probably going to be what world economy is going to look like. It's basically these companies here. So at this point, we are targeting 12,480 five in the nasdaq and these indicators are looking fairly bullish all of them except the rsi that is a little bit negative at this point but otherwise all the other ones are looking bullish so let's look at netflix and this is a stock that i did buy today we are finding significant um, support here at the 150 moving average and at this point we are targeting 500 and if that breaks we are going to these very highs uh, and technical indicators for this are 
looking much better than I have been. So we could stay here for a, a, a day or two before going testing the 50 moving average. But as soon as that breaks, then we are going to go significantly higher. We have been trading sideways for a long time now, and that is a good thing because that is fairly predictable where we're going. We are basically at the bottom of the range, and we are going to target the top of the range. So Microsoft also rallied, found major uh, resistance at the 20 exponential moving average, broke down again. But I think that we most likely will see some uh, a little bit of choppiness here because the technical indicators for for a Microsoft stock are still fairly bearish. All of these indicators are bearish. Stochastic is turning around, but still is underneath the signal line and could turn around at any point. So if we turn around here, we'll head towards the 150. Uh, it's not very likely. It's more likely that we'll see more of the same before we get enough in momentum in order to go to 225 and probably to 233. Apple, this is also a stock I chose to buy today. And the reason for that is because we found major support here at the 100 moving average. I don't expect this to, uh, to uh, break the 100 moving average and therefore we will rally. Uh, if we rally above the 50 moving average, we'll target 225 and then all the way to these very highs. But 225, that is a realistic goal to, to, to have at this point. Uh, we can see that the 100 moving average has been significant uh, support for quite some time. Technical indicators for uh, Apple stock are not looking great, but still we are at major um, support here, and that is the only thing, uh, only thing I was looking for. So looking at uh, Amazon, Amazon um, is still trading underneath the 50 moving average. It has done that for several days now, actually weeks. Um, technical indicators for Amazon stock are still looking fairly dreadful. Uh, RSI is very negative. The same goes for CCI, same goes for MACD. And uh, Stochastic has a little, showing a little bit of life. But until we break the 50 moving average, there's no reason to, uh, to enter this uh, whatsoever. So Tesla just defies gravity. It is just absolutely ridiculous how bullish this is and always has been or has been for the last year and a half we're up seven percent today and we have been rallying in only five six trading days we have gone up 30 29.3 percent in six trading days that is fairly ridiculous at this point expect a major pullback in tesla stock well when you consider these technical indicators you should expect a pullback but it usually defies gravity. You also expected, I also expected a major pullback here, but now we're here like 20% later. Um, if we have a pullback, then $500 level would be, um, would be probably a good buy-in for Tesla stock. So uh, yes, it's, 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 it's um, strange, but people are buying this even though it's very, very overvalued at this point and extremely risky in order to enter a buy position at this point. So Facebook has rallied above the 20 exponential. If we manage to stay above that and get another green candlestick here, then we're going to towards these very highs of 303. Technical indicators are very mixed. These are fairly negative at this point, but the stochastic is very bullish. And uh, yes, it is, all depends if we manage to get above the 20 uh, exponential moving average. And um, it looks like we are going to do that. And then we can basically target 303. So Google up 1.8% uh, today. We have found support at the 20 exponential at 1717. It is expected to fall um, at this point or just trade sideways. We have been trading in, within this small range for, for several weeks now. And um, yes, technical indicators, they are mixed at this point. Uh, it is fairly hopeless at to buy at this stage. We need MACD to turn around, the CCI to turn around, and the stochastic also to turn around. And then you technically would target 1,821. And if that breaks, then we, of course, go much higher. But 
Personally, I'm staying away from this until we break towards the 50. Then it will be uh, interesting to buy this. So, hope you find this interesting. Welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.